MiG-29 V-4 Speedmaster. Last year the MiG-29 V-3 was an extremely popular plane for us. Very fast, guys are getting up over 100 miles an hour. And there's a lot of little improvements we've done with the V-4 based off of what we've learned with the V-3, what did work, what didn't work. But in this video, I just want to do an introduction to the speed plane of the MiG-29 V-4. And three key factors that we keep finding are so important when designing a speed plane. The first one is dealing with this issue of bigger, more parts equals faster. So how do you get a faster plane? Put a faster motor on it and a bigger battery and a bigger speed control and now more carbon and now stronger servos. So it starts to domino effect itself and start and things start to get out of hand pretty quick. We kept finding that so much has to do with the airframe itself, the sleeker, smaller, streamlined. This is where you can squeeze out a lot more speed. I'm talking 10, 15 miles per hour faster by playing around with your airframe versus throwing in a motor with just higher KVs on it. So with the MiG-29 V4, we kind of angled the wings a little bit differently. We shortened the vertical stabilizers. We changed the horizontal stabilizer we changed the underneath subtly all with the goal of getting the air to slip through that plane just a little bit faster so that was the first thing we wanted the plane to go faster with the same power system as the v3 and that's what it does the second thing and this is my favorite is we've got more stability out of it now if you know me i get a little nervous with the fast planes especially the takeoffs the landings well landings aren't too bad but the takeoffs flying slow, the turns. Sure, they're designed for speed, so they're more stable at the high speeds, but I'm always flying a little slower than I should be, and these little planes lose control and roll over and crash. The MiG-29 V4, this plane has surprised us again and again in testing. We had it loaded up with big 2200 milliamp batteries, way overweight, and the plane just would not stall. It wouldn't tip stall, it wouldn't roll over, it just, you know, it started to get sluggy in the air, but it stayed stable the whole time. It had the delta wing style feel to it where as it would slow down, it would just start to drop out of the air and settle down, it wouldn't roll over. That is what I'm always looking for. This made the plane so much easier to fly on the nerves. It was fun to fly. Because like I could fly it around slow and then go for those fast straightaways and then come back down and fly it around slow. Going that fast is stressful enough. It's nice to have something to come down to. So we got it more stable by messing around with the control surfaces mainly, angling out the verticals a little bit more, changing the design of the horizontal stabilizers as well as the angle of them so they're washing the airflow better, kind of brushing away tip stalling. The plane flies ridiculously well on elevons and rudders, so I don't even activate my ailerons. Why? I can roll just fine, save the weights, save the drag. Bottom line is the airframe is more stable than the MiG-29 V3, and guys were praising the V3 for being so stable. Wait till you see how stable the V4 is. And then the last point is, it's structurally stronger. A guy under forum airflow is getting his MiG-29 V3 up over 100 miles an hour, and he had control surfaces blowing off of it. Now, some of that was to do to, you know, gluing hinges in and all this kind of stuff. So some of it could be blamed on uh, build technique, sure. But we wanted to look at, okay, even in a non-ideal build technique, why is there getting so much stress on the control surfaces, on the tail? Why is there some flutter coming in? Could we do something to alleviate the stresses on the control surfaces? So we took a real hard look at that. We designed and changed the ailerons, the rudders a little bit, and especially the elevons. And we were nervous about going backwards with the non-full flying elevons. And wow, I'm glad we did. The way the airflow is slipping over the wing and hitting the tails, it's more efficient having the little halvesies elevons than we did with the full flying ones. The full flying ones were digging and grabbing so much air, they were creating a lot of drag when they were doing that. These little halvesies ones, like little fish fins on the back, they're just wisping the air around. It's more stable and it's faster. And the last thing is, when you come in for a landing, you've got to worry about breaking your tails off. So MiG-29 V4, Fills the role of the speed plane faster than the V3, more stable, less parts, and stronger. The MiG-29 V4 Speedmaster comes in the V4 Pro Pack. Got a link down below. You can read about it on our forum and website.